Students at one Howard County High School hold a protest over how administrators handled a racist social media post. Some say that they're scared and want more information about whether the student who made the post will be allowed back on campus. WJZ investigator Mike Helgren is live at Oakland Mills High School in Columbia with the superintendent's response. Mike? Jessica, she says the law prevents her from revealing that student's punishment. The protest here was peaceful, but the campus went on lockdown for a short time because one of the parents called in a threatening phone call upset that his child was participating in the walkout. Student demonstrators live streamed the walkout at Oakland Mills High in Columbia. People telling me that they don't feel safe at school anymore. Saying they felt threatened after a fellow student posted a message using the N word online. They demanded transparency about whether he would be allowed back in class. That made me question my safety. We asked for answers from the Board of Education, but they refused to give us any, any answers. Seeing my friends, people I love, their reactions, crying, breaking down because they didn't know if they were going to be safe. The superintendent explained why she cannot be more transparent. We can't talk about actual consequences that students receive. That, that information is federally protected. But she said safety is paramount and stressed she supports allowing students to walk out of class and protest. I want their voices raised so that when we see acts of hate and violence, that we are we come together as a community as a school to stop it. There have been several racially charged incidents in Howard County schools this year. They're an inferior race. A Mount Hebron High student's racist rant went viral. Other incidents happened at Athelton High in Columbia, where a student posted a picture in blackface and used a racial slur. And at River Hill High in Clarksville, where a student posted an image with a gun and a racial slur. We don't want to see hate speech being tolerated in our county. This is a whole lot deeper than just a social media post. This is about how students feel about one another. It's about hatred and bias that exists in our hearts, in our minds. That has to stop. The president of the African American Community Roundtable was critical of administrators saying when an incident happens at one school, they need to tell all parents in the county, not just those on a single campus. Reporting live in Columbia, Mike Helgren, WJZ Eyewitness News. All right, Mike, thank you. A change.org petition asking for more transparency and disciplinary actions involving threats has more than 600 signatures.